Welcome back guys to some Sherlock Holmes. We are back doing the walkthrough and uh, back to more Sherlock Holmes videos. I know it's been a while guys and I do apologise for that. But I appreciate the patience and your wait for uh, some more Sherlock Holmes. Just been doing a lot of um, No Man's Sky recently, that's all. So but we're back playing this again. And uh, I don't know if you remember last time but uh, a bomb got throw, thrown through the window. And there's actually a guy sat down there. <laughs> but there it is, the bomb. We defused it last time and we're actually meant to... Uh, Need to search the guy's jacket. On um, that, apparently, uh, through the bomb through the window. So we're gonna do that. And uh, is that a pen knife? Looks a bit like a pen knife. JT. I've got JT. On this. Is that his initials? Let's see what's inside. Is it a message that's been written with some lemon juice? No, don't touch anything else. What's he burn it for? There are ink stains on this piece of paper. I could read the text with the help of my analysis table if Wilde hadn't already destroyed it. The letter. Uh, bring out your axes and tell King George we'll pay no taxes on his foreign tea. Threats to our vein. Force our girls and wives to drink. His vile bahia. Okay. Okay, I'm not. I thought, oh, it's a poem. <laughs> it's a poem. A poem? But what does it mean? This isn't a poem. It's a song called Rally Mohawks. That great moment when America rebelled against England's dominance. Then rally, boys, and hasten on to meet our chiefs at the Green Dragon. And I bet they hoisted a tankard of ale and invented a new nation. Along with deciding if this was the week they got to dump some tea into Yon Harbor. <laughs> Why ever did he keep such a song in his pocket? Maybe it was his favourite. Oh, we've got a deduction. What's this? Um, so we got the destroyed evidence from a bomb. That's just there you go. So we got our first little uh, little clue here. Awesome delivery destroyed the analysis table and the text evidence also not only wanted to help with the evidence it was coincidence that he destroyed the analyst table so it was that the boy was it i think awesome was the boy yeah i think he wanted to help i think that boy was well assuming that is the boy i think he wanted to help Okay, so I'm not quite sure what we need to do now. Who tried to kill me, Mr. Holmes? Good job, Toby. Anything over here? Thanks no. to Wild, my analysis table has been completely destroyed. Wait, map or anything? Can we just see where he is? A map of London and its surroundings. Okay, hang on, let's have a look. Find out who is behind the attempt on your life. Anything through here? Oh, the song. Here we go. Okay, I don't know where the song was from. Encyclopedias. I don't think so. We've got newspapers and we got research. I don't think it's any of them, is it? Oh, no. Oh, I didn't mean to go out of that. I didn't mean to go out of that. Oh, he sort of didn't. Oh, yeah, because over there. Okay, so if we go to history, then I guess here. The Green Dragon Tavern? The Green Dragon. Yes. Here it is. Okay. This may lead us to a new location. The Green Dragon Tavern was a public house used as both a tavern and a meeting place and was located on Union Street in Boston's North End. Okay, I guess we're one of these is now located in London near the harbour in the district of Whitechapel. A replica. Okay. That's all I can do for now. Let's try and get a few hours of sleep. How can you sleep when there is someone trying to kill me? How selfish. Okay. <laughs> so there's a case to be solved and he's got I suppose we all need our sleep. We all need our sleep, definitely. 
do like a bit of sleep myself. Can't go wrong with it. Not really a uh, staying in bed in the morning though sort of person. You know, when I wake up, I'm straight up. <laughs> Admittedly, sometimes that's a lot later than some other times, but you know, I just like to get up, you know, and just do stuff rather than lying in bed. Just find it a bit boring, just lying there, not really doing anything. But um, when this loads, here we go. The next morning, okay. I don't know if so this, are we gonna find something else or is there gonna be something else out here? <laughs> oh, she's here. He's so funny. What's his daughter want? Did you sleep well, Kate? Very well, thank you, Father. Is that wild? Whatever is he doing now? He's transforming you into a legend. Oh, silly man. Kate, what's the matter? Well, I just came by to tell you that I'm going to the zoo with Alice. We'll be having lunch in town. The zoo? What on earth for? <laughs> Perhaps because it is my birthday today? No, I knew it. I fooled you, didn't I? Of course I remembered. Here's some spending money. Go and enjoy your special day. All right. I'll go then. Kate. You never do anything right. All right, all right. Come here. I've had enough of you not caring about me. I do care. I've just had a, a difficult night. Yes, Alice told me about the bomb, but you wouldn't. Kate, I... I only want to protect you. You don't understand anything. I wish Alice would adopt me. Don't be ridiculous. I don't know why my parents entrusted me to you. Did they really know you? Kate, come back. Oh, that reminds me of a scene of the Titanic. Come Dad, back. Come back. Such a waste. This Alice, I have an odd sense about her. It's I can't move. Playing with oh, Kate's body pictures. This would be a good opportunity to investigate Alice's flat while they're absent. And anyway, it'd be better to visit the Green Dragon. Oh, his body. Sorry, the... sorry if I keep moving around like that, guys. The body just moves. Okay, let's go and investigate the flat before we. Uh... Where is that flat? It's next door, isn't it? What's up here? Oh, nothing. We can't even go up there. I thought she was next door, but it turns out we weren't, we're the only people up there. I guess she's this one. Mrs. Hudson is not at home. Okay, she's not that one. <laughs> this one? Force is not an option. I should find another way inside Alice's flat. Find another way inside? A back room. A back room. Can we not go through there? Maybe we can get round? Okay, we need to find another way in. Do you reckon we could get through up this ladder now? Maybe up here and down into our flat? No? Okay, it must be outside then. We'll have to go outside. Maybe, it, oh hang on, maybe there's a window. Let's not go outside, the journalists would notice me. Oh, oh, oh. Is not Can we climb over the balconies? Let's go through. Uh, not that way. My archive. No, no, not that way. Hang on. I think we need this. One. I think she's to the right. Is she? Is her flat? Dash this way. Can we? Yeah, we can jump over. That's got good balance. I assume this door will be there. Will be open. Oh, we've got a pit locker. You may use several pit locks at once to lift the plates and open the lock. Okay. Uh, we need. Oh wait, we need to use two at once.
There's no space for this lockpick. There's no space for this lockpick. We need to... Yeah, here we go. There we go. We've done it. I just could, I couldn't work out how to change the lock, the uh, thing. The lock pick, but we've done it. Oh, hello, what's she got here? Some jewellery? Looks nice. as though Alice has not slept here for a long time. Oh, it's Alice's. Alice's doors is. Oh, okay. What's in this chest, then? Rotate the dials and plot an entire path through the maze in order to open the casket. Oh, okay. So... Okay, that goes over there. Okay, so we need to turn this one around. And then it goes down here. No. Oh, there we go. Saw it. That's pretty pretty easy. Pretty straightforward, to be fair. My dear Lihazi, if you read this letter, then it means I'm no longer in this world. And that illness has defeated me. She's got an illness. Oh, oh, that from Alice's aunt. Oh, okay. Alice's childhood was spent with her aunt. <laughs> until I thought she, that meant the uh, the woman living next door. <laughs> oh, that's better aunt as well. Alice was unhappy with all of her adopted families. Oh, was a key. He wakes up early, despite the fact the lamp in this room glows into the small hours. His friend that was Watson's always in the clothes. She's spying on me. There's a key though, what's the key for? A phonograph cylinder. I'll be for that door, but let's have a little search around first. Sewing machine. Alice has recently used this. What was it for? Thank you for your most recent delivery of shirts for my cousin. They are marvellous. As I told you, it's satisfied she'll be attending the wedding breakfast of my dear friend, so I need to look stunning. Please be sure to finish my dress by Friday at latest. I will send for the in it in the morning. She's making her work. Is that how making Alice work? I'm it not sure. It appears that Alice sleeps in this armchair. As uncomfortable as that must be. Okay, so she sleeps in the armchair. Why would she want to sleep in an armchair? It could be a comfy yeah, chair. Uh, armchair. Don't get me wrong. It's probably not. What's in this? Oh, I don't want to taste it. It might kill us. It has no smell. We'll have to taste it then. <laughs> There's no way for it. It's probably just water in it. Uh, it has a bitter taste. <coughs> no smell, a bitter taste. It's a tincture of barbiturate. Okay, in English, what's that? I have no idea what that a is. A soothing drug to aid sleep. To aid sleep. Oh, is that a journal? Oh, what's that say? Happy birthday, Alice. Oh, it's from uh... Alice prepared a gift for Kate. Oh, Kate's daughter. She remembered her birthday. Well, women are good at that sort of thing. I don't want to go back out there. Okay, I think that's everything in this room. So that's the door. Uh, she was born Porto Spain, Trinidad. Oh, her full name is Alice Floella Hamilton. Okay. Dear Miss De Bouvier, I want to inform you that your rental contract has been prepared. You can come collect it whenever convenient, and e and e any evening this of this week. If I can actually read, go on. Candle's still on. She's Jewish. Is that Jewish? No. That just looks like. The, I thought it was the Jewish star then. 
but also it's missing a it's missing one on the top. Strange taste in literature. Sarah de Bouvier is Alice's mother. Alice used her mother's name to lease the flat. Interesting. Oh, she's working the mirror. Seven years bad luck. Kate probably sleeps here. Seven years of bad luck. She's working the mirror. I think in a fire. Oh wow, her place is massive. Her place is huge. Oh, okay, we just just play the piano. Why not? Nothing over here. Okay, let's go downstairs. What about this uh, grandfather clock? No. Oh, that place is bigger than ours. There's nothing there. Oh, it's another room. This lock is quite new. We got to keep it though. Let's go in here. <sighs> oh my goodness. Oh my god. Whoa, she's some sort of spiritual but oh my god, it's the just gonna be the shearers. The same as the one in the photograph above. Actually, give me goosebumps walking into this room like that. So, she's definitely some sort of uh, spiritual person. I can't remember what that game was called that used to all oh, sit around in a circle and hold hands and put letters in the middle. And also glass. And if there was a. Uh... Oh, we can. Alice is talking with her father, William Hamilton. Okay, so one's her father. What's the other one? Oh my god! Zacharias Greystoke. From the previous murder. The previous case. Alice knows about Zacharias Greystoke, the victim from the bowling club. I solved that crime. Yes, we did. But, um, did we, like, is this him? That's his, that's his dad. William Hamilton. But I know him. He was a bandit who I arrested 20 years ago. Ah, Jaws. Mass suicide is 27 dead at Coretta, Spain. The bodies of 27 people, including the four children, have been discovered. The deceased, who were members of the Veneration of the Dead, had, had to consume a soft drink. Okay, police only able to save one young woman, Alice Fleur Hamilton. The lady who was unharmed yet in deep shock remains unable to shed any light on the sad case. Oh, There's nothing in there. Well, that was a bit, uh, a bit frame rapey. Okay, let's leave the bit in the middle to last because that's creeped me out a little bit. Abraham Lincoln. Okay, investigate Alice's flat completed. What about this? My word, look at this setup. Alice practices spiritualism. Yeah. Oh, well, there's one more. Th let's just fight it off. Charles Darwin, oh. English naturalist and geologist. Okay. So it seems I like Alice is a. Uh, She's just she's like moved in next door to try and uh, I guess get to him. I don't really know. So she maybe she knows Zachary's Greystone then as well. Maybe she has some sort of relationship with him. I don't know. And he arrested apparently her father. 
Should we not shut the door behind us? So maybe she wants to somehow get her own back on the shut her phones, but for resting her well, a member of her family and someone she cares about? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see on that one. But I don't think we need to try and find where anything is, do we? No. Okay, so let's go to... We've got the green... We need to disguise yourself as a bandit and obtain information about the attack at the green dragon tavern. Okay, so we need to disguise ourselves. Let's go disguise ourselves. Oh, we need to do something there as well. We'll disguise ourselves, do that, and then, as a bandit, so if we go to here, then that will most likely be the end of the episode, guys. Bandit outfit. Oh, here we go. Let's just see what, uh, oh, it's back here. We can find out about her father. William Hamilton later died in 1880. He was arrested by us. From 1846 to 1880. Ah, oh, I always do that. I always do that to go back of it. Must be the newspapers. So let's go to 1880. Here we go. We're in Ham Hamilton's death. A failed escape from Newgate Prison. So he tried to escape prison. Oh, so he got shot. Okay, after the arrest and due to his wife's being deceased, Hamilton's young daughter was sent to live with her aunt. So she went to live with, the, with her aunt. Radio. Okay. Okay, we're disguised. So, okay, so when we return, guys, we're going to go head over to the, the uh, Green Dragon Tavern and try and figure out who is after us. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you are, leave a like, comment. On what you like about the series, what you're not liking, what you want to maybe want different, what you might want to see, anything, anything at all, just leave it down below. And with that being said, guys, I'll see you next time. Have a great day.